Beauty and the Beast. Long ago, in the lush countryside of France, there lived a merchant who had three lovely daughters. The youngest of them all was named Beauty, and she was known throughout the land for her kindness and captivating beauty. One fateful day, the merchant set out on a journey to a distant city. He promised to bring back gifts for his daughters. Beauty, being unselfish, asked only for a rose, for they were her favorite flowers. As he traveled home, the merchant lost his way in a deep forest. Lost and desperate, he stumbled upon a magnificent castle. Despite its grandeur, the castle was eerily silent, and the merchant entered cautiously. Inside, he found a feast laid out on the table, seemingly untouched. However, there was no sign of the host. The merchant, believing it was a gift from a kind stranger, helped himself and even picked a single rose from the garden to fulfill Beauty's request. Just as he was about to leave, a fearsome beast appeared before him, accusing the merchant of theft. The beast declared that the rose he had taken was precious and it could only be repaid with the merchant's life. Seeing the merchant's sincerity and learning of his daughters, the beast made a surprising offer. He allowed the merchant to return home on the condition that one of his daughters would come to live in the castle in his place. The selfless beauty, out of love for her father, decided to take his place in the castle. Her arrival marked the beginning of a journey filled with mystery and enchantment. Meanwhile, Beauty's father, the merchant, returned home to his two other daughters, who had worried endlessly about their sister's fate. They were filled with sorrow when they learned of Beauty's decision to stay with the beast. Over time, Beauty and the Beast formed a deep and genuine bond. The castle became a place of shared stories, long walks through the gardens, and evenings filled with enchanting music. Beauty discovered the Beast's hidden talents and passions. The Beast, once fearsome and misunderstood, was, in fact, a knowledgeable and sensitive soul. He revealed his love for art, literature, and the natural world. He would recite poetry with a deep and soulful voice, often accompanied by the sounds of birds singing in the castle's garden. As Beauty spent more time in the castle, she found a library that held books from every corner of the world. The Beast had collected these books and invited Beauty to read them. He shared his favorite tales and discussed the profound lessons they held. One snowy evening, Beauty became ill and the Beast nursed her back to health with great care and tenderness. His heartache at seeing her unwell was a stark contrast to his initial stern demeanor. He sang her lullabies and sat by her bedside, showing a deep, heartfelt concern for her well-being. As the seasons passed, the beast's once terrifying exterior seemed to soften with every act of kindness and selflessness. He demonstrated his desire to change and become a better being, not only for beauty, but also for the world around him. With each moment they shared, Beauty and the Beast discovered more about each other's souls, revealing the beauty that lay within both of them. It was through these shared experiences and the kindness they showed one another that Beauty realized that true beauty transcended appearances. And so, it was Beauty's love and acceptance that worked the most profound magic breaking the curse that had bound the beast. It transformed him into a handsome prince, and the castle, once shrouded in darkness, was filled with warmth and light, a testament to the power of love and inner beauty.
As time passed, word reached Beauty's father and her two sisters about Beauty's compassion and her incredible capacity to love. News of her bravery and the magical transformations taking place in the castle spread throughout the land. Her sisters, who had been once filled with envy and selfishness, began to reflect on their own actions. One day, they decided to visit Beauty and the Beast's castle, hoping to make amends for their past behavior. There, they too experienced the enchantment of the place and, with sincere hearts, apologized to their sister for their previous jealousy and unkindness. The magical enchantment that Beauty's love had set in motion extended to her sisters, transforming their hearts as well. They began to see the beauty in kindness, compassion and love just as Beauty had discovered in the Beast. With the power of love and selflessness, the Beast was fully transformed into a handsome prince, and the castle, once shrouded in darkness, was filled with warmth and light. Beauty's compassion had worked a miraculous transformation, not just for the Beast, but also for her family. And so, they all lived happily ever after, a testament to the timeless message that true beauty lies within the depths of our hearts and that love and forgiveness have the power to change lives.